guys, it's Sarah. I wanted to walk you through how I plan my budget, end my budget, my new budgeting process. Um, so I have been on a debt-free journey for, it feels like forever. <laughs> <laughs> but essentially my husband and I got really serious about it last year and um, I have found a lot of cool tools along the way and I wanted to just share my process you guys know me for health and fitness and that is how I pay my bills and how I help people and my core like passion but I also know that because I earn an income doing this and I mentor new influencers on how to earn an income, it's actually important for you to also know how to budget your money as well. Um, and you might just be interested in general on how we have been able to save so much. Um, I did a post earlier a couple months ago that my husband and I paid off about $73,000 in debt in five months. So um, I'm gonna walk you through some of the tools and what I do for that so I must first say I've been um, watching a lot of things I like Susie Orman I like Dave Ramsey um, I started following the budget mom and I take little pieces from each of them and implement the stuff that works for me and my family um, I'm not big on the cash system doesn't mean it doesn't work it just doesn't work for me i don't like cash and now with covid i don't want to touch cash <laughs> so um i'm gonna walk you through my way of budgeting um again i'm not super hardcore and we don't have any credit card debt now so a lot of what i'm going to show you is going to be a little different um first i want to say when i first got started on my debt-free journey i was tracking everything in spreadsheets Super archaic, I know. I'm gonna pull this up so you can see just how um, crazy this is, but I literally, and I still have it to this day, um, I literally have a spreadsheet that I keep all of our income and our debt, um, literally all of our bills so I can cross them off as we go through things. And then as we were paying off all of our debt, it was here. Um, so that's how I've been tracking everything. But then I found the Budget Mom and she has these cool tools called the Budget by Paycheck Workbook. And this goes really good for my process. Now she has an actual book you can buy, um, but I actually got the printable. It was, it's $27 today. Uh, when I got it, this is what it looks like. It's in a PDF doc. So I just actually print off the sheets that I need. So I literally just printed off the August ones. That's what I'm gonna do with you guys today. Um, but I just print off the sheets that I need. Now, the reason I wanted the principles over um, buying the book is I, oopsies, I'm so amateur at this. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I'm super sideways. So there we go. All right, so the reason why I went for um, a printable as opposed to a book option is because I, I usually make a lot of mistakes in my budget. And she does give you a lot of sheets within the, the printed copy one, uh, but I like to print off my sheets and then mess up my budget a few times before I finalize my budget. Um, and I'm really more of a pen, pen and paper person. So I've been following this process since April. So I have all of my April stuff. I actually paper or staple it after every month. And I'm gonna walk you through my my process I am closing out my July budget now um, and I am formulating my August budget and the reason why I do this and the benefit of doing this kind of tracking is you can find more income that you can use for other things it did help us really hardcore see our debt see our spending in a way that we've never done before so the first step I did before I started all of this um, and started using these sheets and these tools was I actually, for April, I started by just tracking my expenses on these sheets. So literally anything and everything that was going in and out of my, um, 
bank account, I was tracking and categorizing it so that I could see where my money was going to build an accurate budget for May. So looking at everything that was going through in April, I could get a good estimate on what I was spending on food, what I was spending on miscellaneous things like Target and stuff. And even though we're in this pandemic and we can't go anywhere, I was still doing a lot of online shopping. So I wanted to kind of track that and I utilize that in my budget. So the first thing I'm gonna do to formulate my August budget is actually close out my July budget. So I literally track every transaction. I usually only use two pages, that's these two pages. Um, I track every transaction that comes in and out of my bank account and I categorize it. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into my bank, fill out the last little bit. And then what I do is I fill out this page. Now I don't use every single page in the budget by paycheck workbook um, because I don't have credit card debt. But I fill out this page, which is where did my money go? Because I wanna accurately track where my money went um, in each category. So I'm gonna finalize July and categorize that for you guys and I will be right back all right so here is our expenses all laid out from july so i went through all of these highlighted as i went um and really broke it down income wise nineteen thousand five thirty nine for july this is just my income so this is my full-time job plus my side business um income for the whole month not like a certain time i'll explain the whole budget by paycheck part in a second um subscriptions utilities we put eleven thousand in savings contributed to nj and sophia's 529 plan miscellaneous is like target trips my birthday gifts are included in that that hubby spent life insurance we had a dmv registration um 619 dollars for food for the month 843 on the truck we put eleven hundred dollars in savings for christmas um, we had this as an unexpected expense his acid reflux pills were 210 dollars for 30 days um, and so we basically allocated 17,122.24 so if i take this and i minus this this is how much i have still left over in my budget to put into savings which is what i do at the end of the month all right so taking all of my july expenses it helps me figure out exactly where my money went um right now we're just loading up on savings because we are going to make one big huge payment um we're essentially trying to pay off our house so we're going to do a large payment for that um coming up um, and obviously we're saving for Christmas and all of that. So once I've figured out all my budget for the month, I staple it, which is how I have like all of these other ones. Um, and I compare it like last month, our income was 35,699. So our income fluctuates, which is why I budget by paycheck. So I want to talk about that for a second. Cause now I take all of that and I go into August. So I budget and this is what really worked for me and why I love the um, budget moms paycheck by pay uh, budget by paycheck workbook um, so I get paid in my full-time job uh, twice a month I get paid on the last day of the month and I get paid on the 15th so I'm doing my budget today based on my check that I'm gonna get on July 31st um, and then I get paid for um, my influencer business every single thursday so rather than doing a budget every single week which is technically i get paid every week um, i do it based on my full-time job income so i start off by estimating so i both of my jobs are not like a, a set amount i have a set base pay for my full-time job but i also earn commission so i estimate it on the low end and that's how i set up my starting budget and then i also estimate uh, my side business as an influencer on what i'm going to make this this coming month um, but i do it in half months so i'm basically estimating what i'm going to make until the 15th when i get paid again and then i do a whole nother budget for the second half of the month so i just basically today um, start by budgeting just the first half of the month. So what I do is I go in and I figure out um, what are all of the bills that are due before the 15th of the month. And this was July, so I go through. And for us, mortgage, 
um, we have our five, one of our 529, we split it up. So um, Sophia's comes out on the 1st and NJ's comes out on the 15th. So they're in two different pay periods. We pay our utilities. Um, and then we put a lot of it in savings besides what goes in our mortgage. But this is also our biggest check of the month because I get my commission from my full-time job in my in the last day of the month's check. So this is the one where we basically put the majority of the paycheck in savings, but I'm gonna go ahead and write this out really quick and then I'll show you the end result so you can get an idea of how we do it. Um, and then I basically just do the same exact thing for the second half of the month. I have more bills in the second half. So this is what the second half of the month looks like. It has way more line items, but they're a lot less because our mortgage is the most expensive thing. So um, let me go ahead and do this and I will show you guys what it looks like after. All right guys, so I'm gonna walk through those two weeks. So the first step I do is I look at the next two weeks. So from July 31st until my next payday, which would be August 14th, what do we have going on? Do we have any events? Do we have things we're gonna go to? Is it a birthday? Is there something that we're gonna have to spend money on? Like the end of August, we have our anniversary, so I'm gonna budget something in for that, but we don't have anything going on the first two weeks. So I look at that first, um, and then I start filling everything out based on what my estimates are for earnings. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. Let's see. All right, so just estimating. I know that my regular paycheck um, is 4439 commission is that um, and then these are my two estimates for my side business so that's our uh, income well my income for both of those then what we do is I go through all the bills that are going to be due again before the 14th put those there add that up and subtract this number from this number that's what's left over um, I do miscellaneous, so if you did a cash list or a cash system, these would be like your envelopes. Um, I just budget uh, food. I take last month's budget for food and I just half it because again, this is only for the first half of the month. Um, gas, miscellaneous, that's for like all those crazy Target trips. Um, and then um, baby formula costs about $200 for every two weeks. So I add that up. That's what's left over. We have a sinking fund we're saving monthly for Christmas. So I subtract that from what's left over. And then all of that extra right now we're putting in savings. So then I have a zeroed out leftover from my budget. Now I will true this up um, once I actually get this check and that will determine how much of this actually goes in. So if any of this is incorrect, then this number is adjusted either up or down. So hopefully this was helpful in kind of seeing how I formulate my budget. Like I said, I think um, starting out by tracking all your expenses just to see where your money goes is helpful. I didn't realize how much money was going out until I was actually tracking it and categorizing it. Um, and then it really made me think every time I went to buy something, do I have the money in the budget? And usually like extra stuff is that miscellaneous and I only usually budget about $200 every two weeks. For miscellaneous so that gives me a little buffer room um, but it also makes me really think before I purchase because if I don't have it in my budget that I'm not gonna um, use it and as I mentioned when I closed out July I have extra money um, left over because I overestimated in certain groups and that I just throw into savings for Christmas but um, again, I hope this was super helpful. Um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Uh, like I mentioned, these tracker sheets are from The Budget Mom. I'm not affiliated with her. I just really like those um, sheets. Um, I can always, if you're interested, share some tips on how we got out of debt, um, what we did first as far as what we paid off first and how we formulated that into our budget, what was priority. Um, our income obviously has grown uh, due to my side, my side business, but I would say definitely if you're struggling with like paying your bills or getting out of debt, the first thing you wanna do is analyze the money that you currently have and then obviously 
add income if you can. If you can pick up a side hustle or a side business like I did, it's super helpful in kind of helping you pay off debt and get ahead and start building up that savings towards some of your future goals. So again, hope this was helpful. If it was, I would love for you to like, comment, subscribe, say anything. If there's anything that you would like to learn more about or see, definitely let me know.